what's going on everyone in this video i'm going to give you guys a strategy a strategy that i use all the time i'm going to show you guys how to properly use the 20 sma so this is a very very powerful moving average that you need to be using in your tool belt for when it comes to taking trade setups now the 20 period moving average the 20 sma is the white line that you see on my screen here what i'm going to show you is just a look at the triple q's it's the nasdaq 100 i know a lot of you guys like to trade the spy like to trade the q's those cheap zero days till expirations you can definitely play these with a small account you can definitely grow a small account very very quickly but you have to be a professional with your money what that means is you don't need to work on wall street what that actually means is that you need to be able to manage your money be able to take the setups be able to take your profits be okay with the profits that the market gives you and continue to do this on a day out and day out basis what i'm going to tell you right now is that you need to be absolutely disciplined if you get up in the morning and you do not make your bed you do not brush your teeth you do not go for a walk you do not make a cup of coffee you do not do the same things the same routines each and every single day i'm not saying that you have to jump into a cold shower for 30 minutes do fasted cardio for an hour meditate for three hours before the market all i'm saying is have a system have a routine don't just roll out of bed five minutes before the market opens and think that you're gonna be able to catch a big move. With that being said, said, let's go ahead and look at the 20 period moving average. That's the white line on our screen. Now, what we want to do here is go full position sizing the closer we are to the 20 period moving average and the closer we are to the 50 period moving average and the closer we are to the 200. So if you need to use all three of them on your chart so you can kind of get a better idea as to where that's coming from, then definitely do that. But you can see here that off the open on the triple Qs, we get a massive hammer candle push. What we want to do is either put our money in the top of this candle or on the confirmation of the next. If you're looking to squeeze out the extra pennies, you wanna put your money into the last minute of this five minute candle here, we are watching the five minute candlesticks. So we want to enter into this when we take out the highest red bar coming off of the 20 SMA. So you can see here, this white line, we're getting a nice push in the pre-market. We're getting up over this red bar, over this red bar, over this red bar. You can see once we start to clear out the red, we can now start to put our money in that trade and get in on this breakout. So if we put our money on this first candle, okay, we put our money on this first candle. My rule of thumb is always three candles above your entry candles where we wanna first start taking profits or you can take the entire lump sum of profits and call it a day but again if you want to trade a little bit more maybe you want to kind of maximize your profits you got a little bit more time on your hands and the market permits it then again you can definitely sell half hold the remaining half and then you're going to use break even as your stop or a red candle close below the previous green candle so as we start to get these pushes higher one two three you would start to take profits here this this red candle does not close below this green candle so we are still in here 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 then we take our final profits here so if we look at the price as to where our first sell would be would be somewhere around 32060 we got into this move at around 31870s so we made two dollars in a matter of one hour so we made two dollars on the queues in a matter of one hour that's a hell of a trade if you guys took 10 contracts you might be done for the day if you took five contracts and you've got a smaller account i would definitely recommend being done for the day if you traded 100 shares you're up 200 dollars. that's again an eight hour work day for most people's nine to five average salary across america again 200 dollars is about your average middle american salary for the day anywhere between 15 and 25 dollars an hour again after taxes and everything is said and done a 200 dollars date is a fantastic day do not be ashamed or embarrassed to walk away from a 200 dollars day please you'll have more 200 dollars days and you'll grow your account a lot quicker than someone looking to make a thousand dollars each and every single trade so again as we push away from this 20 period moving average we want to find our next trade close to the 20 period moving average so as we start to get in okay as we start to get in what we are going to do here is allow this to pull into the 20 and bounce but what we need to see have happen is we need the bounce to get over the previous high okay so if this is our previous high here does this bounce that comes into the 20 here does this price get over this top wick? 
The answer is no, so we're not going to take this trade, okay? Unless, okay, and there's always an asterisk, there's always an asterisk, unless you get into this play on the aggressive bounce over the or off the 20, and you're only looking for 20 or 30 cents, okay? Because in this case, we come into the 20 here at 815. We get the green candle bounce. If you put your money in this green candle, you're getting in at around 321.18, and we get all the way up to around 321.60. So from a price of 321.20 to around 321.60, there's about 40 cents in that trade. So again, remember, our full position sizing comes close to the moving averages. And as we start to get away from each individual moving averages, we size down and we think more scalp, scalp, scalp. This move, we're trying to maximize these back tests into the 20s, we try to scalp. So again, if you're a, if you're a type of person that's okay taking 30 cents or 40 cents, be my guest. But here's how I like to play it. Here's how I like to play it. So we get the push away from the moving averages, right? We get the push away from the moving averages. As we come back into the 20, I wanna see us take out the previous high. If we do not take out the previous high, we do not take this trade. As we pull in below the 20, we are still trading above the 50 period moving average. That means that there's no short position that needs to be taken. We just need to wait for price action. As we come and we start to approach these lows, and then we push higher. This is going to be our next entry. We're gonna take our next entry when we have a green candle close back over the 20 period moving average over a red candle, okay? I know that's a lot for some of you guys, especially if you're a new trader. Let me reiterate that. If we trade away from the 20 period and 50 period and 200 period moving average and we come back in and we break below however we're still above the 50 and still above the 20 what we are then looking for is a candle uh to close over like it does here the 20 period moving average and then take out a previous red candle this becomes our entry that entry price would have been a price of 321.08 this candle here we would have gotten maybe around 321.20s 321.30s and again, what did I say? We wanna take three pushes higher. That's when we can start taking profits. We get one push, we get a bunch of little candles that we can now combine into one candle. So again, I want green candle pushes. I don't want this. This is not a push higher. This is not a push higher. This would be considered a push higher. So these two candles would be one push higher. This one candle would be two pushes higher. These two little candles would be combined and this would be our third push, okay? So 322.28 from an entry price of around 321.30s. We are looking at another dollar, done. $3 taken out of the triple Qs, your two for two, 100% win rate. Again, this is gonna take a little bit of time to kind of master. I would definitely recommend taking no more than two to three trade setups a day, risking no more than $100 until you get comfortable identifying these patterns mentally. You have to be able to take the screen time and put that into real time. What that means is that the first time you're looking at the, at the price action, and you don't see when we're pulling back and you don't know any of this is happening, okay? You have to identify, do I take a bounce here, look for 20, 30, 40, 50 cents, maybe potentially we break, maybe you can do that. Do you wait, right? Do you wait to pull back into the 20 and then take out the previous high? Then you can take your entry here. Do you wanna take an aggressive scalp? Meaning that we pull into the 20 and we pull below it, and once we get this candle closed back over, signifying a short-term change in trend and continuing the momentum of the day's trend, which is up, we can take an early entry here and get in just a tad below uh, the, the previous high, which would be a price of 321.30s, and we're getting it about 50 cents cheaper, or are you someone who likes to wait for a lot of confirmation? Is that just work well with your emotional bias? So as we pull back into the 20, we remain over the 50, are you gonna wait for the break over the previous high? If that's the case, then you would essentially get in here, okay? You would essentially get in here at around 10.10, 10, 
Pacific Standard Time on Friday, and this would have been your entry at around 321.85. And again, we're not taking small candles. We need actual pushes higher. So one, two is one candle. This is your first push. This big candle here is your second push. Again, small candles. Red candle never closes below the green, so we stay in the trade. One, two, three, four, five. You could have taken profits here at 322.50 from a price of 321.80s. So we're looking at about 70, 80 cents, or you could have waited for the next exaggerated green candle push higher at 322.70s from a price of 321.80s, essentially another dollar here, essentially another three points. So it doesn't really matter if you got in here and sold up here, that was another dollar, or if you waited for the high of day break and sold here, that was another dollar. All in all, we still would have taken $3 off the move. I hope you guys are starting to understand and I hope you guys are starting to pick up what I'm laying down. Again, this is gonna take a long time, but again, if you guys focus on it, you guys will understand. If you wanna join the Discord, that link is down in the description box below.